there's been a constant debate that's been going on for decades on what the best movie is. Some people say it's The Godfather, that's The Joker, that's The Shawshank Redemption, that's Endgame, Lord of the Rings, The Labyrinth, Transformers 5, even Cats, but no. No, the best movie ever made is Troll 2. Troll 2 is a goddamn masterpiece of a film. Very few films exist where the sequel is better than the original, and Troll 2 is no exception. In fact, it's so good that it doesn't even need the first Troll movie to the point that there is no connection between them. That's right. For those who haven't seen it, a quick rundown of the film is that it's about a boy named Joshua getting told a story from his dead grandpa, and then we get an intense montage of his sister Holly working out. We then learn that that family is going to Nilbog, where we have some of the best foreshadowing in film's history. What's Nilbog backwards, you say? That's right, it's Goblin. This film is so alpha, that's called Troll 2. There aren't even any trolls in it. I mean, my god, that's just brilliant. So, then, we learn about Holly's boyfriend, Elliot, and his friends. Joshua and his family get to their new house, at Nilbog, and Joshua literally freezes time and pisses all over the food that was given to them by the townspeople to save them from turning into goblins. We then get the dramatic scene of Joshua's father Michael and his famous line, You can't piss on hospitality, while adjusting his belt to make himself not hungry. That's right, this guy discovered the secret to save Africa and the starving children. He somehow learned to not become hungry by just adjusting your belt. Brilliant. A bunch of dramatic plot and stuff happens where Elliot's friends get lost in the woods and meet the villagers until we get the famous horror scene where Elliot's friend Arnold yells, They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! Yes, oh my god indeed. The fact that this man didn't win every possible award for acting is a goddamn crime to humanity. A party is thrown for the town full of goblins while the evil witch is off killing Elliot and his friends. Then the grandpa appears literally out of nowhere, out of thin air, back from the grave with a Molotov cocktail. And he helps Joshua defend himself and his family from the goblins as they turn on him. The family is holding out when the grandpa gives Joshua the secret tube defeating these goblins that's right a goddamn double decker bologna sandwich which makes him invincible like the goddamn star from mario brothers he then discovers the goblins and the witch's source of power which then kills all the goblins all he has to do touch it mind-blowing the film ends as the family goes back home and in the best plot twist ever some of them accidentally eat poisonous food that turns them into trees where goblins come back and eat the family this movie has everything. It has great acting, comedy, plot twists, montages, sci-fi, literally everything possible. It is definitively the best film ever made. All of this was done on a minor budget, making it even more impressive to the point it spun the troll franchise and spin-offs including a documentary and a semi-sequel. After 30 years, Troll 2 has only aged like fine wine. I give this film two Leonardo DiCaprios, five out of five Troll 2s, two Whoopi Goldbergs, and an 11 out of 10.